assalamu alaikum there are lot of type of designs and art in our life which we usually um, go through and sometimes we consider it art and sometimes uh, it's just for the pr practicality or uh, for the uh, increase of uh, comfort in our lives uh, but all the things and all the uh, measures we take and we do for our comfort as well uh, that comfort can be physical can be visual and anything like that uh, it's somehow somewhere it's type of art it means sometimes we consider things a, a part of art and sometimes we don't consider them as art but it exists in the part of art so there are lot of things that we can uh, measure them in the um, rules of art that uh, we can say that it's a good art it's a bad art or uh, that is very um, exaggerate form of art uh, and sometimes we can't be able it defined as a art and uh, we just consider it a part of design and uh, we think it's not the part of uh, creativity uh, there are lot of types uh, and today's lecture um, we are going to dis uh, discuss about the architectural design or art of architecture um, what architecture is basically um, structures whenever we say architecture uh, the first thing came to our mind is uh, structure okay and then it's like structure which is built and the architect which design the structure which uh, instruct to uh, create structure is called architect is that correct so it means the person who design a building a structure structure can be anything uh, he is basically an architect an architect can be defined in many ways um, I try to um, in this lecture basically I try to uh, uh, get uh, you into touch with uh, a different type of architects who consider their work and uh, we can think we can uh, refresh our minds to know that their um, concepts of developing structures their concepts of creating uh, structures is very different uh, but which we thought uh, which we consider as architect uh, they are more like artists so we will discuss it and we will see different type of um, structure and artwork as well in this uh, lecture okay. architecture is the art and science of designing building and an other physical structures a wide definition often include the design of the total build, build environment from the macro level of town planning or we can say that uh, uh, the whole picture uh, which produce the whole city you can design a whole city uh, in architecture as well as that can be urban designing it means that you uh, design colonies or uh, uh, living spaces uh, as a major part or um, a single house is a minor part also landscape is also included in architecture and uh, in micro level from construction detail where the buttons can be put where the lights can be put where uh, what kind of furniture can be uh, introduced in that uh, structure all the minor details what type of floors what type of tile can be used the my mm, micro level of uh, details the uh, minor uh, details should be uh, part of design and design as well it means architecture architectural point of view the design can be from whole city to a single room or single washroom or a single study room can be designed 
and all the detail in it where the buttons to be put and where all the other objects can be physically and uh, what what will be the purpose of that object uh, basically what is the most important aspect of creating a structure uh, it the most uh, the answer is in the question yeah, what is the most important why you creating a structure why you building a structure because you need it and why you need it that can be a school that can be a shopping mall that can be um, residential space it means somehow you um, already know why the structure is going to be needed why we need that structure so we have to build it first we just consider the requirement of structure okay so the most what you think the most important part of um, creating structure the requirement of the space is that clear what why we are creating structure because we need it so the need depends if it's residential space it's it's a hospital it's a shopping ma mall and all the requirements is based on that space so all the design it means all the design we, whatever we design it based on the requirement of the space and the client who is going to use it if we are designing like a simple example if we are um, if I am an architect and I am going to design a house for a uh, for my client so it doesn't mean I am going to put my uh, point of view all of my point of view on that because the requirement based on the client's requirement what he want to uh, what he want uh, what he needs in the house what he want to uh, uh, spare space for that uh, spaces like he want a um, uh, big uh, landscape area or he want a uh, uh, big uh, you can say uh, lounge area or he don't want to have a drawing room area it means somehow I am bound to uh, consider those option but as the same time I have to apply my point of view as well as my design concept which is basically um, uh, my style of work so both of them when style of working or the concept of the um, uh, structure uh, which came from the architect and the requirement of structure which came from the uh, um, the owner of the structure they both build in and they produce a space which we uh, think which we can say it's a great structure or that can be a bad structure so it always been a uh, art that can be a very good that can be a very bad in the end but it also the type of art and the most important aspect is the requirement of the space and the concept of the space and both create a object a structure which can be a piece of art Frank Gehry uh, basically he uh, is a very famous architect and his structures are amazing you are going to see them uh, in the slides as well as the attachments I am going to attach in the classroom uh, he was born in Canada in 1929 and uh, in a very early age his parents moved to America and uh, he got his education from America from different universities and that's why he is known as Canadian born American um, architect and uh, he is amazing his work is very um, he's basically he thinks himself as a, a sculpture who create forms and uh, um, create a beautiful forms they are so um, soft and uh, 
the structures are so um, comfort and the rhythm and the beauty of the structures are there uh, uh, we can see his work and we can discuss it but uh, it's so beautiful and so um, nice uh, you can see and then we have a discussion okay uh, frank gary is a child he was uh, a creative and he used to play with the wooden blocks and hardware um, which th he used to get from his grandfather's hardware shop and uh, her grandmother used to help him create a city or house or building uh, different structures in the floor of living room so uh, that creativity somehow be, uh, was start to build in his uh, mind and his uh, um, thoughts and as well as he's um, mm, he has a very good drawing um, and he used to draw with his father and uh, uh, her mother is also a um, good uh, you can say um, they do ha they do have a good drawings but basically whenever he is drawing him um, if we see his sketches and his work we came to know that it's very um, based on imagination and uh, most of his structures when we see we came to know that uh, the first thing is how we, uh, how we create how the person creates that um, they are so out of the way and out of the normal buildings like uh, uh, the structure on this slide it have so many soft edges and roundness and smoothness which mostly and normally the buildings don't have so in his drawings uh, by na by natural um, he do have that ability to draw um that softness or imagination in his drawings that's why his father thought he's a um, imaginary uh, person and he can't be able to um, get that much um, he will be not be rewarded as uh, and his uh, drawings are very imaginative but his mother uh, believe him and he, she introduced him in different art circles and uh, she pushed him to uh, relate to his work and uh, slowly it comes the specific uh, basically the style built in uh, in the child uh, with his uh, the whatever he do like he used to play with uh, uh, blocks or and he used to create cities or um, create spaces or create houses they all uh, uh, somehow uh, became the part of the personality and uh, the getting of knowledge of structure it's from the start and then uh, when he came to uh, the knowledge or the education he um, uh, used to have knowledge about architecture so he's done his uh, bachelor's in architecture that's why the uh, the creativity exists already in the mind and the knowledge and both create a new style of development of structures uh, gary has been studied in college of los angeles uh, and then he has done his uh, bachelor's from university of south california in 1949 to 51 um, then he went to Harvard universities and uh, then he uh, have uh, played a role of principal of Frank Gehry's Associates in Los Angeles 1962 uh, and he have got uh, many prizes um, till now he is creating a beautiful structures um, basically um, he is um, he is doing different kind of work before and then uh, he decided to create um, uh, structures uh, although he already studied the architecture but uh, then he start um, go into the teaching uh, um, area and start teaching uh, uh, and then he started um, his professional work uh, completely 
design structure by him um, uh, after that uh, that was the residential space and then he start doing that um, uh, and his work is getting better and better he is teaching and uh, he was a principal of his, uh, of association and uh, 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 private school of teach uh, architecture school but he also start um uh, working on the designs and uh, um, architectural designs but the uh, first architectural design uh, which uh, and first structure which he, uh, he completely designed by himself and create of um, uh, the creation of his first structure was uh, when he was at 28 years old and it was in 1957 mm, there was uh, uh, a house was built nearby his all um, he was uh, already uh, living in the area and the structure is built by his uh, family friend and that uh, it's more like a family structure which is designed from a one person and built by the other person and it was a house of his friend so that was the first um, structure and then he start uh, developing his structures and uh, his uh, the residential space is a uh, house basically and then he start uh, working on commercial uh, spaces like um, in this slide uh, in the middle of the slide there is a structure is designed by the frank and it's a completely amazing building when we have it's a uh, um, closer look it's very beautiful and the frank gary is uh, on the right side of the slide uh, slide is his photo and uh, he's doing work till now um, and uh, he he's creating structures frank work is um, um, if you seen uh, the before structures and the structure in the slide now it's completely uh, different and uh, uh, very smooth um, appearance of the structure in the environment uh, and it the structure uh, appears to be a uh, piece of art for the uh, landscape and where it is built it it uh, shows itself its existence it uh, as a, a fun part as a you can say more uh, uh, out of the way uh, the thought process is very uh, and the creation uh, creation process of uh, structure is very um, uh, out of the way uh, thinking and the structure uh, shows its complete appearance at the space and um, which is given existing um, uh, it's more like uh, when you are standing in front of it and it completely uh, show its complete appearance to you um, it's not uh, like that you just see it and go through it uh, it let you uh, think of it uh, for a minute and then you came to know the um, other things it's more like a painting or sculpture which um, uh, which uh, mostly enhance the ability of uh, existence uh, um, his approach is uh, basically more uh, like a sculptural than an architectural point of view it shows how the concepts of different fields can create a different object or different structures a person who can uh, who is basically an architect and his concepts and thoughts and ideas is more like sculptural forms and the both of the uh, things when uh, uh, are mixed and mashed it create a amazing structures like this okay this is one of the projects which frank have done and it's very um, uh, very famous and uh, very beautiful uh, project of his um, this is a museum of pop culture uh, which is known as experience music project uh, it was um, a very beautiful and uh, basically the structure is uh, shown in different ways and uh, we will discuss it um, in the interior as well the, as the exterior um, basically this uh, in, uh, structure is uh, financed by the Microsoft 
co-founder uh, and it almost cost 240 million dollars and um, it is built for the exhibitions and, um, and for the display of different uh, music related um, uh, things and uh, it is till now uh, it is working and it's amazing and it is kind of one of its kind uh, the outer look of the structure is shown over here it does uh, this structure is uh, different from other uh, Frank's uh, structures because it do have colors most of the time print don't have colorful structures but over here um, he use color um, and uh, why we will discuss it um, there is a uh, a major logical reason to use them this slide is about the interior of the museum uh, before we have seen the outer look of the museum and now it's it is the inner part of the museum basically this museum is financed uh, from the uh, microsoft company so uh, it does have uh, a very uh, strong relation with the uh, uh, different uh, microsoft uh, systems and uh, different kind of uh, programs uh, and it have a strong impact of music and the both objects are very different in real life but uh, over here frank uh, makes and match different elements of programs like cad or something like that and different objects of music which can be guitar or anything like that and create forms which are uh, completely out of uh, the logical reason it's uh, and create a different uh, part of uh, designs of that space and uh, divided that space into many uh, parts and levels with the uh, to relate it with the rhythm of music and the eras of music and the beauty of music as well as with the uh, softwares of different kind of software which are used the mix and match of both they create the space like this which we already have seen and uh, there are a lot of photos on the google as well you can go through of them uh, okay we were think uh, we were mm, talking about the different uh, uh, colors which are used in the uh, frank's structure which uh, he haven't used in other structures or most probably all the material is aluminium and stainless steel which we already seen the outer um, layer of the and exterior of the building but uh, he used different color consciously to uh, highlight the different rock stars of that eras or different eras of the music um, like he uh, used that red color uh, which shows the uh, um, the red uh, um, faded old truck uh, for the rock stars which they used to uh, drive from the one uh, country uh, one countryside to other countryside or one area to other area um, and that is like mm, most um, uh, feasible um, at that time um, it do um, explain and uh, highlight different eras of music and different kind of music which were used to play uh, and he used to uh, uh, use the symbols uh, and colors uh, of different famous songs and uh, he put that um, uh, song related color in the building or song related objects in the building so um, he create a theme with the music as well as the software of the building this is th also the exterior look of uh, the building from the another angle um, from each angle and each side of the exterior and interior we came to know a different part of uh, uh, the building and it's completely uh, different from the other side and it shows um, uh, specifically all the areas is designed to show the different uh, objects which related to music and different kind of music uh, like pop um, uh, and um, all type of music and there are different parts and each space is designed according to the um, size and its size and its structure is based on the according to that 
kind of music which is presented in that part and uh, the structure and the software which uh, they have to use and they create a different completely different uh, areas and completely uh, out of the way uh, thought process which goes to create a completely different structures like this okay this is also a structure of frank um, and it's a clinic and research center uh, for uh, for brain health care uh, related uh, um, research work and this structure is also based like aluminium ss and other materials frank basically said he uh, his material is very different from the materials which you usually uh, um, architect use uh, and he also said that i like to use those materials which are not favorite to people um, mostly in the construction and he create structures with those and um, the structures are lovely and uh, people like them and it's the most fam uh, famous um, you will see the photos of inside of this structure as well you will get the detail of it on the word um, 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 i have attached a word file as well uh, with uh, class google class you can go through from it and you have to read what the material is given uh, so you came to know and um, i will ask you questions about it and in the last slide i have attached two of the links of youtube uh, you should go and see and see other works and his uh, interviews and work and his uh, way of working there are a lot of um, things on the uh, net and uh, he is giving interviews and his awards and uh, how uh, tutorials of his drawings and his structure creating uh, it's very important to go through how um, the creativity starts how you came to uh, design um, think anything uh, as frank said um, when you came to know at the beginning what you are going to design then you will never be able to design something extraordinary you don't have to Uh, decide what you d uh, you are going to design you just let your your hands let your mind do something and then you decide it's going to be or not going to be so um, uh, please go through from those um, interviews and uh, uh, sites so we can discuss it uh, later